Now, I get to meet many incredible individuals and charities and communities across the country doing amazing things. But the first time I met Sue, back in 2016, has always stuck with me. You just can't forget her. <laughs> for what she lacks in height, she more than makes up for in determination and fight. And my mother's only four foot eleven and a half, so I know, I know what short women can do. She tirelessly gives every hour she has to ensuring that no call goes unanswered. And whilst we should all give thanks to the tireless work of Sue, of Hannah, of Dawn, of Rebecca, and the many volunteers and partners and members of the community, we should make one thing clear. The year ahead will be even harder. There will be an increase in need, and those needs will become more complex. It will get harder and harder to raise the vital funds for the work being done. The long-term impact of austerity, of universal credit, and wider welfare cuts will set in and affect more and more people. I urge you all, in all the different ways that you can and that you do, to keep supporting Track 2, to keep donating items, keep contributing to the crowdfund campaigns, to challenge your political representatives and help amplify the voice of Track 2. Back in October of 2016, I spent the day working alongside Sue as a volunteer, joined by one of the team at the Joseph Rowntree Foundation. Understanding the lived experience of the people that you supported that day gave me incredible insight into the work that you do. But it also opened my eyes to the challenges you face in growing as an organisation. So since then, I have supported Track 2 in a number of ways. Uh, I've tried to bring media attention. I've put Track 2 forward for awards that get the eyes of policymakers and funders and the general public. I've personally tried to contribute to some of the staffing costs. And I've asked partners to work with me in mapping the challenges and seeing how we can be more effective in helping you to become more sustainable. But the challenge is only going to get harder. So I will continue to use whatever platform I have to support your work. But we can all play a role in making your vital work a little bit easier. In the past year, as we heard, 4,437 items were donated by Track2 to bring some comfort and dignity to people who really need it. It's an incredible figure. As Sue says, that is 243 households getting support. Where else would they have got that support if not for Track 2? So, on this evening of thanks, I personally offer you this. My continued appreciation and admiration of the work you do. My sincere thanks and my pledge to do everything I can to keep supporting you in the year ahead. Thank you.